So you just purchased a BenQ SW series hardware calibrate display. In this video, what I'm going to show you is what cables do you use to connect your computers to your display. In this specific case, I have two different generations of MacBook Pro with me. I have the newest generation, which uses USB Type-C, and also the previous generation that has all the ports and connectivity. So what I'm going to do is demo them both on how to use them. Now, if you end up having not just the Mac Pro, but if you have an iMac or the iMac Pro or something like that, or the Mac Mini, the ports are going to be very similar to what you see here with the MacBook Pro. And if you end up having an older generation iMac or Mac Mini, the port's going to be very similar to what you see in this previous generation MacBook Pro. So that's the case there. Now, the other thing too is that the display that will work for this guide will be the SW271. That is their 4K hardware calibrated display. This panel with me right here, this is the SW270C. This is their 2K hardware calibrated display. And also any other future BenQ releases of SW series that has USB Type-C built in. One specific one that I have in mind here is the SW321C, which is their 32-inch 4K hardware calibrated display. It has yet to come out as a filming of this video, but it will also work for this guide and any other future BenQ SW hardware calibrate display as I mentioned. I'm Arch Suwan Sang, BenQ Ambassador, and let's get started. For additional information, I have put links below this video with guides on how to calibrate your BenQ SW hardware calibrate display using Palette Master Element and the links to purchase the cables that did not ship with the display but the ones that I've used in this video too. If you haven't yet, please smash that like button for me and subscribe to my channel and let's talk cable. So first, what I'm going to do is focus on the 2016 and newer MacBook Pro or any Mac release in the past few years that has a USB Type-C connection with Thunderbolt that's actually running on the USB Type-C. These are the ports. It looks like the one on the side here. And if you have these BenQ model displays that I mentioned earlier, what you can do is simply use the cord included, which is a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cord, and just go ahead and plug that into your laptop and one into your display. In this case, I'm using my own cord that I purchased separately because what I found out is that BenQ USB-C to C cord has a tendency to be on the short side. So what I'm going to go ahead and do there is plug it in. Now that I have this plug in, this singular cable will carry the display signal. That means it will carry all the pictures and everything. It will also carry the input-output ports for the two USB ports on the side here, the SD card slot access, and also it will carry the signal necessary for Palette Master Element to talk with your display. Now, if you're not really familiar with Palette Master Element, that is BenQ proprietary software to run a true hardware calibration on the display. Something to note here is that if you are running on this newer display like I have here, this is the SW270C, this is their 2K model, and their announced SW321C, that is going to be their 32-inch 4K model. Both of these recent models are capable of 60-watt power delivery to your laptop. That means that this singular cable will, in addition to carrying display signal, I.O. signal, will also power your laptop as well. That's also something really nice. Something to note here is that if you own the SW271, that is their 27-inch 4K display, that is the older model in SW's lineup, and what that cable will provide is the signal, it provides the I.O., but that display can only provide 10 watts of power delivery. That means that it's not enough to even power a MacBook Air. So in that case, if you are running on the SW271, what you're also going to need is the power cable to charge your laptop while you're running the display. So that will be your setup right there. If you are considering getting a newer MacBook Pro with a USB Type-C, the newer SW are going to be the way to go because you have now free up a lot of ports on your machine to connect to the display. After this, all that you have to do is plug in your calibrator, which in this case I'm using the X-Rite i1 Display Pro. The i1 Display Pro has a USB Type-A here, and you can plug in a USB Type-A on the side port here, or if you have a USB Type-A to Type-C adapter, you can also use that and plug in the X-Rite i1 Display Pro directly to the laptop. Now, plugging it directly into a laptop, it doesn't really matter if you have it on the display to laptop, but the nice thing about plugging it into the laptop is so that you can run a diagnostic to make sure that the USB ports on the display are working or not. So that's one way to kind of bypass and do the diagnostic with everything that you need. 
A few more things I want to mention here is that I have this link up cable here. This is going to the hockey puck to the display and this is a power cable to the display. Something that I want you all to note as well is that I'm using a USB to USB type C cable here. I'm not using an HDMI cable because HDMI cable has a tendency to cause a lot of problems and when you have a display that can take USB type C in this case, it has a lot of advantages primarily like this right now is just one singular cable. Now let's shift our focus to the previous generation. This is the 2015 MacBook Pro and before, or if you're running in an old iMac, old Mac mini, or any other older Apple laptop that does not have USB Type-C, this is going to be very similar setup that you have here. Number one thing that you're going to notice is that I have the power link up to here because there's no way to carry the power over the cables from the display, so the display won't be providing power to this laptop here. Now secondly is that the previous generation MacBook Pro has a HDMI port built in. However, any opportunity I have to avoid using the HDMI port, I just go ahead and do that because HDMI port has a tendency to compress the RGB output range and that causes a lot of problems with calibration and palette master element. Also, you won't be able to see full colors when you're using HDMI. So some, some of the computers, HDMI port will work around the issues. Generally, I try to avoid that problem in general and use a cable that come with your BenQ display. The cable that I'm going to use in this case is a mini display port. This is also a port that looks very similar to a Thunderbolt 2 port. So what Mac does is that they implement a Thunderbolt 2 over mini display port. So the mini display port, there's two ports on the side here. And what you can do is go ahead and plug this in right there. The other one, this is a full display port. So what you're going to do is display port has a little latch there to kind of keep everything in place. So what I'm going to go do is plug in the display port to the display. Now, most of the time, we think that these are enough cords for us to actually power the laptop and everything. And yes, if we just use these minimum cords, you're going to be able to send the display signal from the laptop to the monitor. And that's a great thing. However, there's going to be a problem. If you have it set up the way how you have right now, you're going to run into an error when you launch Palette Master Element. That is called the FTDI error. That means that this singular cable, this display port here, doesn't have enough bandwidth to talk to the display. In that case, what you're going to need here is the increased Include a cable in the BenQ box as well. This is a USB Type A that goes inside, that goes into the MacBook Pro right here. And the other side here, this is a USB 3.1 Type B. This is, like I said, this is the cable that's included, and we're going to put it right in here into this slot. This is the USB uplink for the BenQ display. Once we have this set up, we are now good. We can now run the display, run Palette Master Element, do a hardware calibration on the display without any errors. Because we have this USB uplink cable, the two USB ports on the side and the SD card slot will also work as well. Lastly, all that you need to do is plug in the X-Rite i1 Display Pro or any calibrators you may have that is compatible with the BenQ product or the SW line in this case. But what you can do is simply use a USB Type-A to plug into the USB ports, the two USB ports on the side of the display. Or what you can also do is on these bigger Macs, the 15-inch one, it has two USB ports, so you can always plug it directly into the Mac as well. Now, if you have a smaller one, like a 13-inch MacBook Pro, there may not be enough USB ports. At that point, you will be utilizing the ports on the side of the display. Lastly, the caveat between the SW270C, the 321C, and the SW271 that I mentioned before with the USB Type-C won't be applying to this model. Once you have all the cable hooked up to your display, the only last thing you have to do is download Palette Master Element from BenQ website and calibrate your display using Palette Master Element. For the video on Palette Master Element and which settings to use, go ahead and check out the link in the description below this video. If you haven't yet, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit on the notification bell so you'll be updated every time I upload really cool videos like this. And until next time, art is right.